Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a July favorites slash I guess summer favorites because I've been gone all summer. I haven't really filmed all summer. So I just want to talk about what products I really enjoyed most. And I guess we'll just go ahead and dive right in. I don't have too many so you don't have to worry about this being a super long video. Okay, so first up is the Sumo 37 Air Rising Dazzling Base. I've talked about this a lot already, and you know, I've already showed swatches, and I just really love this product. It's such a great liquid highlighter, and it smells so good to me. If you don't like the smell of spices, then you might not like it, but, you know, I just really like this. It has a nice cooling effect on the skin and it just looks beautiful with or without makeup. My next favorite is the Coke and Dough Aqua Foundation. This has SPF 25, PA++, yes, PA++, and it has a beautiful sheer coverage that, you know, allows like my freckles to shine through, you know, without being... It, it just looks like skin and it's all it's so beautiful it has like such a nice finish and it wears beautifully throughout the day I've worn it several times without primer and the lasting power is really great even without primer with primer it's even better and I don't it's just been one of my favorites especially in combination with the Sumu dazzling base so definitely try and get one of these for yourself or at least a sample or something because this is amazing. My next favorite is the 3CE Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade number 1. And it is too light for me but I like to use it to highlight my face as well as cover up blemishes. I, I use this to cover up blemishes whenever I'm using a foundation that's a bit too light for me. So this that's pretty much how it works. And I don't know, I just really like it. It's nice and creamy. It doesn't crease around my eyes or anything like that. And the coverage is pretty great. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they have more shades than this. Hopefully they do. I will link down below the web page for this concealer so you can purchase it if you do want it. And hopefully they do have more shades because this is pretty light. I'm probably like an NC20, I think. I think I'm an NC20-ish or an N20. I'm not exactly sure, but this is lighter than that. And, you know, it may be only ideal for highlighting if, you know, this is the only shade. So my next favorite is the K Palette Real Lasting Eyeliner 24 Hour Wear. And this is such... Uh, the packaging itself is just so adorable. It was just so cute. I had to have it. But the tip is so good. It is actually a brush tip. But like the control is so... You can control it so easily. And it's just... I don't know. It's the best eyeliner applicator that I've used. The formula is... It's not waterproof. If it's not waterproof, I don't think I can say that it's oil proof either. So if you have oily eyelids, it might not be ideal for you. But, like, it's just so easy to use that everything else doesn't even matter. <laughs> uh, it does wear nicely, but as said, it's not waterproof or oil proof. Just make sure not to, you know, rub your eyes or anything like that or wear primer. You can set it even with like a black powder, a black eyeshadow if you want to try that out. This is just, real. I really love it. Oh my gosh. And it's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Next up is a brush. I really, really like this brush. I took it with me on my trip and it's just been one of my favorites. This is the Artist Brush Oval 6. It looks like this. Like these are the kind of like weird brushes. I'm sure you've seen it around. Uh, but I grabbed the Oval 6 because it's it has a nice size. The reason why I really love this brush is because I like using this for spot concealing because I'll put like concealer right here or something and then I'll just stipple very very softly gently and then I'll just do it in a circular motion and it is amazing because it'll give you the full coverage that you want to conceal that blemish and it will blend it in so seamlessly 
this is so amazing it's so dense like it is so dense and I don't know it's just so easy to use because although the handle is really odd because we're not used to using like brushes like this it's so easy to use I highly recommend this like it's so good I haven't used it with powder or as a foundation brush yet because since I've been using it for concealer I've been trying to stick to you know using it only for liquids I don't want to like mix up using it for liquid and using it for powder but once I use it more with other things I'll update you all but this is I love this you should definitely purchase it if you purchased any of them purchase this one because it's the most versatile it's uh, the size of it is good enough to use for a concealer you can even use it you know for foundation all over for powder setting your under eye or using it for cream or liquid uh, blush so I think that it's really good for anything. It's it's the perfect size if you ask me. So my next favorite is the Yogia Puff Cleanser, which I've talked about briefly, I believe. Uh, if I haven't, then this is going to be the first time that I'm talking about it. But this is an amazing puff cleanser. I use it to clean my beauty blender. My beauty blender right now is kind of dirty though. <laughs> so I'm not going to show it to you guys. Uh, but it cleans the beauty blender or like any kind of sponge so well. I don't know about you but sometimes after I clean my beauty blenders they still have stains in them from like foundation like deep set foundation and I've used the beauty blender cleaner I've used what have I used the uh, philosophies uh, purity cleanser I've used that before I've used baby shampoo and none of them really get the deep set stains out but this one does like it gets it out so well so easily the only thing about this is that it's pretty much only available in Japan I've tried looking online and I was not successful if I once I try again I'll link it down below if I can find it it's like less than five dollars and yeah, uh, but the only thing that's wrong with this is that it takes a long time to squeeze out all of it. Like, you have to keep squeezing and keep squeezing and it takes it takes quite a while. Uh, so, it, it takes time and patience using this, but it cleans it so thoroughly that I am just happy. <laughs> Alright, so my next favorite is the Creme Relax Smooth Pudding Facial Cream. This is such... A rich and moisturizing facial cream I have combination skin but my dry areas have been getting really dry lately um, and so I've decided to switch cleansers to try and fix that and that's really helping but this has like this is just amazing I really love it it's so moisturizing I highly recommend it if you have dry skin to normal um, or combo skin if your dry areas are really dry. My oily parts aren't super oily so this works okay for me uh, in those areas but for my dry areas like it is amazing. It even works well underneath makeup. It doesn't ball up uh, or anything like that which is amazing which is great because I have used moisturizers that do ball up whenever you know I put on foundation or just like even when I rub on concealer. Not concealer even when I put on primer so the, for being like super like thick and rich I am highly impressed like this stuff is hold let me let me just show you and you need like the smallest amount so you need like that much and like this stuff like doesn't drop like it's so thick it goes nowhere it's li it's like uh, it's not pudding well I guess it's like it's like flan. <laughs> it's like flan, except, you know, maybe a little less solid, but like, it is exactly that. 
and I love it. It is so good. Okay, and my last favorite is actually a hair care item, but I have been using this all summer and I am running out. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna purchase this soon. This is the Macy Color Protecting Leave in Oil Treatment. It has argan oil, olive oil, and grapeseed oil along with vitamin E. And I mean, my hair is bleached it's been treated poorly and so you know I need something that's super I need something that's gonna give my hair a life and this is exactly that like it makes my damaged hair so nice after I put it in I don't use any heat tools I don't even blow dry my hair though so that may be uh, something for you to consider if you have bleached hair and you need a good treatment um, but this is like freaking amazing it leaves my hair so nice and hydrated it leaves it soft and it's just so good like it is the best hair treatment i've used and i'm just so ready to get it again so that concludes my july slash summer 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 favorites uh, please let me know down below in the comments what your favorites were for the month of july or just your whole summer in general uh, because I would love to know and check out some of these items as well. And, well, uh, give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful, useful, or, you know, something like that. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!